when the watch fell out, this is going to be part two of the video, because when the watch fell out, it hit the stop button on the video. So all that video I did was going away. So we're just going to concentrate. You're going to look at that video another time. And we're going to start this video over straight from here, like I just started this video with this watch, okay? So let's just start here with the watch. One from Garrett. The Tissot, this is a, uh, what they call a classic. Um, from the classic collection. Um, let's see. The traditional collection. I read all the specs in the other video. I'm not reading the specs over again. But, uh, uh, well, I won't read the details. I'll read the specs. Traditional family, Swiss made, no. Quartz ETA F06.111 movement. Scratch resistant uh, uh, sapphire crystal. Uh, stainless steel with PVD coating, silver Arabic index, 30 mil, 100 feet, 3 bar for the water, brown leather strap, butterfly class, uh, 42 millimeter width, 7.47 millimeter is the thickness, okay, turn it down a little bit more, uh, battery life, no indicator about that, and there's no power reserve on this watch, there's a date function, all this is one date, a box, two-year warranty limited to movement okay so we open it up and like I said we're not gonna drop it this time we dropped it last time and stopped the video and other video I showed you you know how, how the cage works opens raised in the middle so these are not stickers books in the back that come out of the back presentation all right there's another video okay so I'm not doing the whole thing over I just can't do it Almost time to go to bed, that's why. See my eyes are red. And this is the watch. It's just so traditional. Okay? And the inside of the box is just as elaborate as the outside of the box. And let me tell you why. See this? Pull this out. There's a compartment. And for those of you who don't have, don't have a Tissot, here you go. The user's manual is right inside. Now, there's not much to... To really use with this watch um you hit your international warranty and you get your what's going on the back your code on the back fill it out and get you hold on to it and that comes out the side of this box put it back in there push it close so you got the other side that comes out as well wow and here you have your service centers okay and then you have another pamphlet that comes out and this is just sports. And uh, this shows you games and stuff like that on the inside. I don't know. Race courses. I don't know what this is. It says sports 2014 and moto winners and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what this is about. But it's probably part of the Tissot tradition. And once again, it goes in the side here. Okay? along with the book. So the presentation for Tissot is well worth it. Makes you just want to go and buy a Tissot just to have it. This is a black pouch I tucked in back here. This is a pouch actually. So I did, I just tucked it in the back back there so it'll be there. So I won't lose it. And I just used the uh, trick to put the watch on. A little closer to the detail that's the watch. watch. White face. See the time, it's time to go to bed. 10 minutes to 12 time I mean date just the date rose gold it looks like gold here but it's rose gold it's a beautiful watch gold class and like I said basically she told me how to open this like that so you can open it just pull this up right here and they both open and this is how I kept trying to put the watch on like this y'all I was like well, I can't get it on my hands and I was moving up the thing adjusting it I just can't get on my hands. I can't buy it. It won't fit my hand. Dude came over and said, uh, why don't you just try opening up the other side of the, the butterfly? Bam. There you go. Goes on nice and tight. Clip. Y'all know what a butterfly class is, though. Right? Bam, clip. And there we go. My first, um, well, again, not my first watch in the sense that, like I said, besides the, the brightening, but. As I mentioned about the Brighton before. But, um, you know, my, my first watch that I really like that's, that's relatively 
I mean, it's just good quality. It's good quality watch. And it's a Swiss watch, even though it's not Swiss made. It doesn't have a Swiss movement. I don't think that's, is that a Swiss movement? Of course, ETA F06-111. It's not Swiss made. This is not Swiss made, though. Okay? So, that's the difference. But I really don't care whether it's Swiss made or not. Um, stainless steel, water resistant, it's in the bottom. And let's see what it says about the movement. Sapphire crystal. Alright, on the back of here, it really doesn't even mention. Well, I can't read the movement, but the writing is real small. I still had a plastic over it. That won't come off of it. Just have to change the battery or something. Yeah, it doesn't tell you about the movement as well. I'm not sure whether that's a quartz movement, F06. But usually it was probably say it if it was. It'll probably say Swiss quartz movement. So it's probably not, but I'm telling you it's a beautiful watch. All right, so get it. Somewhere around 350. And uh, once again, I could have bought a watch for $500, one of the whatever, Seiko or Citizen or whatever, for 350 Nah. This is it. Come on. How's your boy Roger Real D. Cool? I'm gonna put this in a box and put it up. I'll be displaying my watches up on top of my cage. That's where the watches will go. At least the first two. And then as the watches come in, I'll start making space on top of the cages. I won't be putting them inside the cage. Because the cage is for the juice. Yeah, boy. All right, so I'm gonna upload both of these videos. The first one tell you about the watches that I have, and then this one is actually about the watch, the box, the presentation. I'm telling you, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. There's nothing more beautiful than this box, than this beautiful, simple watch of rose gold. Let's close it up. That's it. All right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for checking it out. How's your boy Roger Will be cool him out? Time to go to bed. Look at my eyes. Look at him. Look me. Dead in my eyes. Look at me. Tell me what you're thinking. What you're thinking? You think you want one of these watches, don't you? Yes, you do. That's what you want one? Go get one then. What's the problem? Get this one. It's plain, simple, and nice. Bye bye now.